Okay, uh, we're going to take a look here. We're on 8.1, which is exponential uh, growth. And basically, um, what we have is I want you to be concerned with this. And mainly this, notice how there's an exponent in the air. So what I want you to do is uh, go to your graphing calculators and uh, go to y equals. And once there, uh, press clear. Clear everything out of there. Okay. Um, all I want you to do is type in a 4 then a caret sign and then x. That basically means that it's going to the um, x power. This is what exponential functions are. And when you go to graph, um, just a rough little sketch, it looks kind of like this. It looks like it shoots up like that. Well, let's find out exactly what it does, shall we? Uh, to see exactly what it does, if you press second, if you press second, and then graph, you get a list, right? So we press second and graph, we have a list. And on the list, here's what I see that I have. Um, negative 2 is 0 0.0625. Um, negative 1 is 0.25. 0 crosses at 1. 1 crosses at 4. And then 2 crosses the whole way at 16. So when I go to plot these, this is basically saying you go over negative 2 and barely go up. You go over negative 1 and barely go up. You go over nothing and up 1. You go over 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4. You go over 2 and up 16. We'll just say it's way up there. So you connect them. And there's your line. All right, now keep in mind here, these are the asymptotes we're talking about. This right here, notice how it doesn't touch zero. That, the line that I'm drawing right there, that is an asymptote. It's a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. Okay, it's never going to touch zero, but it's going to get really close. Um, this is the same problem. Um, go to y equals again, and instead of the four, just put a two in there and press graph. And notice how now the graph, it looks identical, except it's a little wider before it goes up, right? So take a look at your list. If you press second graph again, it is negative 4. Right now it's negative 4 and 0 0.0625. And then at negative 3, it's 0.125. And at negative 2, it's 0.25. And at negative 1, it's 0.5 and at 0 it's 1 and at 1 it's 2 and at 2 it's 4 right? and 3 at 3 it's 8 okay so let's start plotting these negative 4 1 2 3 4 and barely go up and negative 3 and barely go up negative 2 and barely go up Negative 1, and now I'm at a half. 0, 1. 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 1, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8. And 4, 16 is way up there, so then all you need to do is connect all your dots with the line. And once again, keep in mind the asymptote would go straight across here at y equals 0. That's your asymptote. It gets really close to zero, but it never quite touches it.